What is up, everybody? Hey, it's Flip back with another episode of FMDTX. Guys, this is Talking Tech with Flip. So today I'm actually going to show you a pretty cool docking station that you can do cloning your disk, you can uh, hook up another hard drive to your computer, all via USB 3.0. So let me show it to you. Okay, so this is the Wavelink. Now I purchased this on Amazon and uh, when I first saw the reviews of it, I was kind of iffy, iffy you know, because it freaks me out. Now this is a dual docking base uh, docking station for hard drives. Um, such as the uh, SSD or a regular 3.5 inch uh, mechanical drive. Now I'm going to take this hard drive and right here in the back, if you look, it says source. You just plug that right in just like so. Boom. Then you take your SSD and you plug it right here on your target side. Now once you get them plugged in, it's pretty simple. You just power it on in the back. Let me show you the back. Okay, turn the switch on. Then immediately it starts blinking and telling you that it tells you which disk is activated at the moment. So right now I've got the source disk activated. But since this is the main hard drive for this computer and I want to clone it, all I have to do is install this SSD here into the target slot. Done. And then you hold the button down, which is kind of weird because it doesn't really come with really good instructions. Um, but if you get online, you can learn a little bit about it. You can also go to wavelink.com and try to figure it out. But you basically hold this button down until you see it flashing all the way around here. Just hold it down just a couple, like a minute or so. Once you see them both flashing, then you let your finger off and then you push the button one more time and then it'll start blinking on 25%. When it finishes, it'll be over at 100%. And then it'll eventually stop blinking and it'll be solid light. And that means you've cloned the hard drive to your SSD from your mechanical. Simple and easy as that. You don't even have to have like a Cronus or anything like that, you know, to, to try to install it. Although I like a Cronus, I use it on a USB and uh, boot with it that way. That way it works really well. Um, but uh, this works really well. And for like a price line of $39, I think is what it was, it's almost push button simple. So let me show you real quick how it's done. So real easy, you just take, you plug the bay in your computer system will find it and determine it's available okay so there it goes it shows all of the details and everything on the drive I'm sorry I don't have a screen capture software installed on this computer because it's not my computer this is a client's computer turn this off right here and once I get it off and it's powered off I go ahead and unplug my USB 3.0. There's no power to the hard drive at all. So now that it's off, I can go ahead and disconnect this drive, put it down, and we'll install our one terabyte. Okay, if you're not familiar with SSDs, Samsung is really one of the best out there. I mean, it's just fast. I mean, you're talking a complete difference from a mechanical hard drive to an SSD where your normal operation, like from the power button to start up completely done, ready to operate on your uh, um, operating system, usually takes, I don't know, about a minute to half on a fast computer to about two minutes, you know, depending on the, what you got loaded and how much space you have on your hard drive available. Um, on a mechanical drive, it takes a while. But on one of these, we're talking seconds. It's a total difference pull that off that's just your information on how to drive it also has information on Samsung Magician which is the software that they like to use and as you can see it looks plastic but it's not it's actually metal um, solid state drive now this is the 860 Evo which is a one terabyte hard drive and you stick your finger back there and open it up and put the package down give you a little detail information it is metal it's very thin I mean just it's real thin compared to a fingernail it's real thin um, it does have all your connection points, so you shouldn't have many problems connecting it to your computer system. But if not, you can always buy one of these right here. Uh, I've got this also on Amazon. Uh, it's an in Inatech um, SSD mounting bay to put a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD into a 3.5 inch bay. You can get one of those and it comes with everything, including SATA cables and everything. It's going to make a huge difference. Trust me. <laughs> 
And the only other faster one is the M.2 and the NV NVMe. So check this out. I'll show you how to put this in here. Okay, so with your wavelength system off, you take your drive here, and we're just gonna go ahead and put this in the target area since we're gonna do that later, leave it there for later anyway. Connect it in. Go ahead and connect your USB drive in right here to your 3.0, and then turn the power switch on the back. Now it's also showing that it's a target. It shows where the bay is drive is located. And there we go. And it shows it connected. Now, when you're trying to connect this, you all, you want to go ahead and um, set up the drive itself. And you want to partition it. So here you're going to come in. You're going to type in disk. And then right here, you'll get Format Hard Disk Partitions, Create. So you click there. Computer system will automatically t find the disk for you under your local disk manager. So we're going to do a master boot record since this is going to be used for boot. And you know, it's, it's, a newer, it's, it's, it's a newer system, so there's no problems with it. But if you want to use older systems, you want to use like Windows 7 or whatever, go to GP uh, Guide Partition Table. We're going to use MBR in this case. Hit OK. Now there's my main disk here, and then they're going to show this one, which is disk one, which is an unallocated. So no problem. You just right click, and you're going to add a simple volume to it. So click next, and it shows you the volume size. Click next. We're going to assign it a letter E, just a temporary letter. Next, I can go in and name it later if I want to. Um, once I get it all set up under the C drive, like there, C basic, C drive, A through C. All right, and you just hit next. Also do a quick format, it's always good to do that. Finish, it'll do it, and then it'll pop up the drive showing you that your drive is available. Okay, simple, easy as that. You got a good uh, partition already set, and you just close that. And now you can go back over, and you can turn the power off. It'll disconnect from your computer system, unplug your 3.0. Okay, take your hard drive from your computer system, which is right here. Plug it right in, just like that, into the back. You don't need to connect the 3.0 if you don't want to. Turn your power on. It's going to determine and try to find everything. There we go. Found our source disk, which is going to be our main hard drive that has our operating system and our files. And the target disk, which is going to be our Samsung uh, SSD. Now we're going to hold our finger down. There you go. Starts to blink. You got to hold it for like a minute, and you'll actually see the light speed will slow down just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, there it goes. It's starting. To, it's just a little slow. I mean, you can barely see it. Put your finger off. Click it once, and there it goes. Just real quick, I just wanted to go over the specs real fast on. Um, this particular SSD, this uh, 860 Evo, it does, it is 550 megab megabytes a second and sequential write up to 520 megabytes a second. So it, it's an mSATA or 2.5 inch SATA drive um, SSD and this is one terabyte. So pretty cool. You can also go to their website and it kind of gives you some information um, if you need information on the Samsung and how it works. But uh, amazing drive, um, I mean, just <laughs> just a good overall drive. Uh, you can just go to samsung.com and type in the, the SSD information, and you can get some details on that. Okay, uh, now that it's finished, um, the hard drive, it actually went back, and I forgot to get the lights uh, to show you the video, the lights or whatever. Um, I reached over, and I turned it off thinking I was going to pull it and I totally forgot but anyway I turned it back on so you can see now that it's finished you're just going to reach over and power it off and then you can go ahead and pull your SSD out okay and then this is ready to be installed in your computer system and uh, you can go ahead and pull out your old hard drive or you can just leave it in there for right now um, if you want to format it or you want to turn this into a, a boot drive Okay, now that uh, the SSD has been installed and uh, I've put it in the drive bay and put the piece in, got it all installed. Uh, if you want to see the installation on that, there's hundreds of videos on how to install SSD and replace. So I'm not going to go into all that. However, I'm going to show you how fast it is 
and this is basically to show how the wavelength works so we'll go ahead and push power on this is a new computer too by the way so we'll push power and we'll see how long it takes I heard the beep waiting for the monitor to engage I'd say that was pretty fast. The monitor didn't even engage before the computer system started. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that was uh, pretty fast right there, I, I, I'd have to say. Um, so, uh, no problems there. Um, I'm pretty excited on how fast that was. Um, but there you have it. Uh, SSD is installed. Let's click here. There it is. Uh, Let's see if it shows any information here. Yep, everything looks good. Um, it's ready to go. And that's it. Um, something else that I like to do is I like to uncheck allow files on the drive to have contents index. That, that actually saves space on your, syst your uh, um, hard drives and stuff like that too. So uncheck that and it might help too. But there it is, all installed and ready to go. Guys, the Wavelink uh, USB 3.0 dual bay docking station. I'd say that's a pretty successful transformation. Let's watch and see how fast this shuts down, too. Power. Shut down. Done. <laughs> Uh, you can't get any faster than that. So, guys, thank you all for watching and uh, talking tech with Flip. If there's any questions or anything like that, um, that you'd like to ask or if I was incorrect on something, which I might be. I mean, this is my first talking tech, real talking tech video. Give me a you know, shout out. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, hopefully you liked it because if you did, you know what to do. Same YouTube junk. Leave the like. And uh, guys, check out Wavelength at uh, Amazon. The link will be in the description. And uh, we'll see you later. Also, the uh, Samsung link. And uh, if you want the Barracuda hard drive, that'll be in the description as well. All right. Thanks, guys. Real quick, something to note. If you have a drive in the uh, source and a drive in the target, only the source will show up on your computer system. Both drives will not show up on this computer system. Only one will show up. Or it might be the target. Okay, no, it's the target. The target will show up. So just remember that only one drive at a time. Okay?